12th, September the 9th. We are cleaning up the dry cow area. Used to be the dry cow area. And moving the chunks of concrete out and getting ready to put hay bales in here for sale. Well, we up the road now. Chris came up here, cut 20 acres or more down. But it got too dark to drive it back down the road. And we've been having a battery problem. So we stole some batteries out of the other 14 to put in this 14 to get it running. So we can go to the next spot. Well, never mind. The last three times we tried to try to start that tractor, it wouldn't start without jumping it. It fired right up. Fired right up. I guess that was a waste of time. Either way, at least we didn't come up here empty handed. But yeah, it got too dark to bring it down the road last night. So Jordan came up here and picked him up while we was down the road failing. So we're gonna put some fuel in it and go up the road to the next spot, up to Catlin, cause that little nine acre piece up there is ready to cut. And if we can get that cut down, then it won't be no big deal cutting the rest of this cause you know, it's not up the road where you gotta battle a bunch of cars to get up across the bridge. So, we're gonna do that. Well, yeah, he cut down this 20 acres and then the tree field last night. Yeah, she ain't little. One day, if that thing ever hit, bites the dirt, I'll probably just buy a 10 foot. But we'll see what life throws at us at that point. The neighbors, they got these, but they got the trailers that went with them.
Well, we come down here to get started this morning. They've already got a road all across the field out here. Apparently, they're going to hang out at, across this field for about a year or more, raising these towers up. They're going to build a road all the way across the field with them planks. So, I'm glad we got that side done. Anyways, we'll get going here. Dirty window. Yeah, we stole Chris's truck. Because it was the closest one to get to. cutting hay. This road is narrow. This guy decided to back up. Dad takes up the whole road on this, this little road. Well, that dump truck, I didn't get up here fast enough for that dump truck to get past to stop them three. So Dad had to pretty much stop because there's just no room in there. Probably hit the bridge too or the guardrail. Well, we made it down the road. Hopefully, it didn't hit no guardrails or no dump trucks. That dump truck, it wasn't stopping there. I could have stopped the car in that time, but there wasn't no stopping that dump truck. There you go, cut this little piece. This used to be like 10 acres. But she fenced in a couple acres back there for her horses. And then they built a building and some more things. So, Dad already cut that part earlier. So, and that what down there, he's getting ready to cut. There ain't much down there. He should have just cut it all when he cut this part up here. But anyways, that down there gets wet. As soon as it rains good, it'll get real wet. I'm finished. Just finished it. But I still got about a half a bale in there. So that could be uh, finished on the next field. This bill, this field came up to 62 bales this time. In the spring, of course, you know, we, it took a lot longer to get stuff out, but in the spring, we did 139, 140 bales out of this field. I think last year in the fall, we did about 26 out of this field. So we're definitely having a better year this year. So we got to load this wagon and take it up the road. And out of this 62 bales, I think I have about 24 left that people haven't messaged me about at the moment. So we definitely have 18 to 38 bales um, on the book to... to to be at, be sold out of here. This really went a lot faster than I thought. But anyways, we might not even get them in that shed. So, but I think we're going to end up putting them, some of them in the shed before we get that far anyway. So, you know, you don't want them to get wet before somebody comes to get them. But most of them are like, I want to come get it tomorrow or the next day or, or whatever. You see across that field over there? I seen it earlier. A groundhog stuck his head up over about. Let's see. Let's see if we can do this. Hello. Right about that little hay bale right there. Old groundhog stuck his head up. Somebody stole my truck and come looking for me. Messages from people wanting hay 
females. So it took a few minutes. Probably the slowest load I've ever loaded on a wagon. But with all that wood coming across the field, I want to make sure I got all the hay off that side before they flank that whole thing all the way across the field. Do you see how far they got today? None of that existed yesterday. All that got put in yes, just today. It's like 200. I don't know how many of those planks there are. There's a lot of them. Well, it looks like I can get about three wide in here without squishing them. Probably a lot easier with a skid loader. coming to get some hay bales so we uh we're gonna meet her she's gonna come meet us better yet let's see what old chris is doing over here he's good at working on his ford tractor project that he that him and my uncle been swapping back and forth before my uncle passed away looks like he's just sitting in the truck sleeping Dad cut these down. Makes them look nicer. Even though he cut 
some grass down that he didn't need to. But anyways, Cal's out here checking it out this evening. We had to run off to Harvester School for a bit. So, we're finally going home. Catch y'all later. Hey y'all, definitely like and subscribe. That helps us out the most. And uh, so we can grow this channel. We'd love to get, we'd love to grow this channel. So catch y'all later. This is Headings Farm and we'll catch you on the next one.